Hey there, how do you add pages to your big commerce store? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run the e commerce growth community, which is a free community for people in e commerce. I'll leave the link below the video if you're interested. Let me share my screen. I'll walk you guys through how to do this. All right, in the back end of your big commerce store, we can go to storefront, <clears throat> web pages. And this is where all of our pages exist. Now, there are different types of pages in your store. There are category pages, there are product pages, there are page pages, and there are blog pages. There are technically a couple other types of pages and your homepage too, but these are kind of the main ones. Now, I'm gonna assume for this video that you guys are looking for how to create web pages, which are not categories, not products, and also not blogs, although, you know, the process for doing a blog page is pretty similar. So we go into storefront and web pages. This is where all of your page pages live. And you can see, I already have some of them in here and some of them are marked with an X and some of them are marked with a check mark. Now the ones that are marked with a check mark, what that means is that it should be visible in our dynamic menu. And you may have that turned on or off as a feature. Uh, and I'll show you guys where to turn that on because I think you're probably gonna wanna be able to add web pages to your menu. So let's create a sample page here by clicking create. And there's some uh, radio buttons up here Can, uh, for what type of page or what this page is gonna do. Okay, the first one is it's going to have content using the WYSIWYG, which is this down here, the page editor. And that's what most of the time you're gonna be doing if you're asking this question. Now you could theoretically link to another page or a document. So maybe you wanted to put like your gift certificates into your menu and you know that that's already a, a page called gift certificates.php, I think. Don't quote me on that. And so this would create basically a link or a placeholder in your menu that would point to that. Again, I'm going to assume this isn't what you're wanting to do, but if this was supposed to be a page with a contact form on it, you would choose this one. And basically this is the same thing as the WYSIWYG, except when you scroll down, it lets you put a couple fields on here, um, you know, to put a form down below the content of your page editor, right? And so if you're, if you're creating your contact page, you're gonna select that one. This one right here is if you're gonna put in raw HTML into a page, and this isn't used very much, but this could be useful if you wanted to say paste raw HTML in for a landing page that you had created outside of BigCommerce and you wanted to just dump the, the code onto the page. That's what this text would this that's what this option would choose for you. All right, so let's choose the first one because that's probably what you're looking for. <clears throat> let's call this sample page. You can see it automatically creates a URL for us. I would usually let it just create the one that it wants to create because it's going to be uh, good for SEO purposes anyway. You can see it's nice and matchy matchy. And then let's type some content into the page editor. And so this is going to just represent the content that we're going to put on this page. Now you have all the, con all the normal controls you would expect in a, in a WYSIWYG or a page editor, including this button right here to upload uh, images. And so I'm going to just put an image in here that I've already uploaded in the past and click insert. Now this image that I put it is like ginormous. So <laughs> maybe I should have put a different one in there. Let's put a different one in there. Let's put in whatever this is. Oh, that's pretty big too. All right, well, we'll just leave it there. And so you can use, you know, use these buttons to get your content right. <clears throat> um, Let's see, this put this checkbox is there by default and it says to put it in the navigation menu. So this will give it the check mark, the check mark that we saw in the previous screen and unchecking it will turn it into an X on that previous screen. I'm gonna just leave it checked. If you wanted to nest it under something else, you could nest it here. This is where you put in your SEO content, like your page title, your meta description. I would suggest you just skip the keywords. Nobody uses that anymore. You can skip the search keywords. And so you just need to put in title and description and then call it good. And let's click save and exit. Now this is going to take us back to the web pages menu where you can again see what is marked as visible and not visible. 
And because we left that at checked as this should show up on my menu, then it's marked as visible. All right, so now if I open the front end of the site, you'll see that it didn't show up. And that's because what I said earlier, which is that a lot of themes by default don't have web pages set to show up in their menu by default. They have it like disallowed. I'll show you where to turn that on in Cornerstone. So if you go to Storefront and then Themes, you can click on Customize to go into the Customizer. This shows you your theme and lets you use widgets and stuff in here. But what we're looking for is this little thing that looks like a, what do you call it, an art palette, paint palette. I don't know the, I don't know the word for that. Uh, but this represents your style choices. And if we go into header and footer, again on Cornerstone, this might be in a different spot or it might not be in here at all, uh, depending on the theme that you have. But this is, you know, most people are running Cornerstone, so I'm going to show you guys where it is on here. So in header and footer, we're going to scroll down to where it says hide links to web pages. And if we just uncheck that, then you'll see our missing visible web pages come back. So I'm going to click publish to make that live. And it can take, you know, five or 10 seconds to show up here on the front end. So I'm going to just refresh a couple of times until it shows up. <clears throat> And there it is. So sample page right there. There's the picture of the lady walking, which is apparently what I had selected. And so it's right there in our menu. Now, if we want to go back and maybe nest it under something, go to storefront, web pages again, you can change how your nesting works. And your theme may or may not be set to show drop downs. But if it is, then if we drag this down to something else and push it to the right, then now that's basically being shown as it is a child page of About Us. Let's see if this theme is going to show it. Looks like it's not, but it looks like Cornerstone does show a link to it from the About page so we can get to it from there. Now, if you want your drop downs to show up and show show pages, you can make that happen. You may just need a developer to help you with that, depending on what theme that you're using. But everything that is checkmarked should be able to show up in the menu. And if it's not checkmarked, like this test page here, then it's just not going to show up. And you can change the check marks here just by clicking on them. So that would take it out of the menu, and that would that would bring it back. All right, so that's how you create a new page in BigCommerce. The, you know, I have a different video on this, but blogs are very, very similar. The difference is, is that blogs are just nested under the blogs instead of, um, you know, in your main menu like everything else. Um, if you guys are just getting started, be sure to check out my course up there and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. You know, I make these videos to help you guys out. So the more you guys tell me, the more I can help you. All right, thanks so much.